Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Capricorn. Keep in mind that this does not resonate for every Capricorn. If you like a personal reading, that's going to be the first link in the description down below. I repeat that first link in the description down below for a personal reading. You can also find a bunch of other things there in the description. You can find my Etsy shop, which has my tarot and my oracle cards on there. A bunch of things there on my Etsy shop in the description down below. So if you go check that out, going to go buy something, really appreciate that. Um, Oh yeah, currently have a sale going on. You can also find my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on, as well as Patreon. All that's in the description down below. If I donate to the channel, feel free to do so. I do appreciate your donations here on Capricorn. Just kind of see you running around more, being more active, like like getting up and going with this go 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 vibe. Like, but you're being healthy in balance. Okay, we have number 39 with the goddess Kali over there. Da -da 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 -da. We have a Kali. Goddess of enlightenment, wisdom, and grace. You are the beginning and the end. You are beyond this journey. Beyond suffering, beyond all experience. Kali Ma. You are the Shakti. You, who still the insistent fluctuations of being and bring peace. I call upon your wisdom to break the cycles that need to be broken. You are absolute in the completion. I rest in you all. The spiritual benefit of all beings. Okay. And we have number 31. The goddess Kuan Yin over here. I just passed it. Oh my god. Passed it again. Beloved Kuan Yin, sweeping sister Willow, with gracefulness and surrender into love, you forgave trans great transgressions against you because you chose wisdom and spiritual growth. You did not hide your anger. You simply chose to let it go and find peace and compassion in your heart. You're free to ascend into bliss. Please bless me that I may draw upon my own wisdom and spiritual strength to forgive and empower myself now. I allow Sweeping Sister Willow to gently wash my heart clean. Alright, Capricorn. So let's see what spirit... Oh my god, I'm so sorry for burping. Um, let's see what spirit has in store for yourself. So what do you have for the sign of Capricorn? Okay, so let's see what we have for you. Cards. We have the Queen of Cups. Okay, Queen of Cups like the water, King of Spice, Scorpio. We have the Queen of Pentacles, which is you here, Capricorn, with it being Earth. Okay, but it does feel like you are getting de deeper into your emotions, deeper into your psychic side here, Capricorn, deeper into those waters there, and you are able to manifest the coins now because it's like your heart's more open. I keep feeling something touching my head, it's annoying me. We have the tower. So that tower obstacles that were in the way are being removed here, Capricorn. Ace of Wands, there's new beginnings now. Eight of Wands, expect it to pick up faster. The devil. Okay. We have the page of pentacles. See, there's a lot to celebrate here. There's a lot of happiness here, Capricorn. There's coins coming in. There's everything you've been wanting here coming in. Okay, we have the King of Swords, which could be air, which could be Gemini Libra Aquarius. Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Okay. And the Nine of Swords. And the Wheel of Fortune. the Eight of Cups, Three of Wands, we have the Hermit, we have the Nine of Wands, Strength, Ten of Cups. See that you're moving towards your Ten of Cups, what makes you truly happy here, Capricorn, because you're even meeting more of your soul family here. Um, maybe there's someone here you're trying to give an offer towards before, and they just weren't seeing you, they just weren't hearing you here. So it's like you kind of walked away from that situation, like, okay. And then it's like you, you called in the moon, right? You called in good fortune is what you called in here, Capricorn. Your future, you've manifested it. You manifested your 
your ten of cups, your queen of pentacles. You see that money? Because it's like you turned inward here. Wheel of Fortune can also be associated with Jupiter. the Empress. Empress can also be Yamaya, the goddess, which you may be connecting with as well, Capricorn. We have the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. See, I was feeling that. You have here in your Ten of Pentacles Ten of Cups. But look at the abundance here. We have all the food, we have all the family, we have everything here. We have the Magician, because that's what you manifested here. We have the Hangman. We have someone here in the Hangman position. We have the Four of Pentacles, but that isn't you. It's like you're taking care of yourself, but we are having someone here in the Hangman position. I really kind of stuck. We have the Ten of Swords. Okay. Maybe that they're feeling that you cut ties with them. They're feeling that quite heavily, Capricorn. I don't know if you did some cord cutting or you did some sort of release, but you. I had this person feeling kind of stuck, but you are manifesting your future. With the Six of Swords, you're manifesting your change. The moon, which connecting with Capricorn. Let's have music notes, songs, two of cups, there is love, page of swords is something that interests you a lot, ace of swords. It feels like this is going to be something very awesome. This is something that's like. I just see this love here interesting you a lot. Ace of cups, it's new love. Eight of swords. We have the hierophant. You've been studying, you've been writing things down, like the qualities of a person that you like. Three of Pentacles. Alright, maybe you've been writing it down, maybe you've been speaking it to the moon here, speaking out to the universe, and now you're being, now this love here is coming into your life, and this may be someone that you work very well with together here. Three of Pentacles, I also feel like you're just more in the flow, more like, let's see, fairies as well. The Nine of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles. Get ready to receive from the universe here, Capricorn. Queen of Wands would be that of fire. You have a Ten of Wands. It's maybe something you're working hard towards. Four of Swords. There's more relaxation. The Emperor as well. The Emperor. Now, the Emperor kind of reminds me of Poseidon here with the Trident. That being an older man who's like a merman here. Because we also have Poseidon here. Okay. You have Judgment. You're waking people up as well. There's people being woken up by the spirit world. Okay, getting out of the bubbles, we have the five of wands here, Capricorn. It really does feel like this is something you've been working hard towards. Okay, which is in your nature because you are that of Capricorn. Let's get some around some charms yourself. We have Leo, and then we have five. So I don't know if you have Leo placements. Queen of Wands being here, if there's a Leo coming towards you, you have five, all right, which may have significance to you. Oh, look at that, five right here. So five, five, fifty-five. That number there, we have the moth, the moth girl, which can have a connection to the moon, the night, the stars, the spiritual initiation, transformation, awakening, the psychic gifts ability. We have the rose, all right, the rose is important for the heart chakra there. We have fertility, we have protection, all right, we have justice, even though these are things are still there, not because you're getting out of hardship here. So, Capricorn, that's all I have for you. Like I said, first link in the description down below for personal reading. Also, go to my Etsy shop, go and go buy something. Really appreciate that. And if you want to see more content, definitely like, subscribe. Bye, guys.